This is problem six from chapter 13 from the section of circuit analysis in the S domain. So we have an 8K resistor in series with a 1 Henry inductor and a 40 nanofarad capacitor. First, for part A, we're looking for uh, impedance in the S domain, and for part B, we're looking for poles and zeros. Okay, so we need to trans, um, we need to Laplace transform the inductor and the capacitor, and those transform into LS and 1 over SC. LS, 1 over SC, and again, we don't have, we're not connected to a power source. There is no switching, so there's no initial voltage or current to consider. Those are zero. Now, we always leave it as L and S while we're doing the transformate or yeah, while we're doing the transformation, and then we substitute the values back in. So let's get started. Zero series impedance is just a sum of each component, so we're gonna go eight thousand plus LS plus one over S C. So these two guys need to be multiplied. They need um, an SC common denominator in order to add together. So this is going to be 8,000 SC, right? Plus, this one's missing an SC, so LS times SC plus 1. Now everybody has the same common denominator of SC. That's just equal to 8,000. SC plus LC S squared plus 1 over SC. And just checking myself because it's so easy to make mistakes. So now we always want to get the S squared to be a 1 coefficient. Just automatically do that because um, you will always end up doing Laplace inverse Laplace transforms, and when you do that, everything is based on a coefficient one. So divide top and multiply top and bottom by one over L C. When you do that, then this coefficient becomes S squared, and the C's cancel out, so we have eight thousand. 1,000 S over L, and then plus 1 over L C. Then on the bottom, the C's cancel out, we have S over L. Check myself, yes. Now when you plug in the actual numbers, the 1 Henry and the 40 nanos, you should come up with an equivalent impedance of S squared plus 8,000 S plus 2.5 E7 over S. And that is the answer for part A. For part B, zeros and poles. For part B, to find poles, well that's easy. Pole, you have a pole when the denominator is zero and that is at zero. Zeros, you have to factor it. And when you factor your numerator, you have non-real roots. And they, so you should have, um, I don't remember doing this, I know I did, but, so when you use the factor and it, it just spits it back up, that means you have non-real roots and you have to go to catalog, if you have a CI-89, and ask it to do a C-solve. So and then you would enter it in, um, in the formula, or you would enter S squared plus 8,000 S plus 2.5 E7 equals zero solve for it, and then with a comma x, and then it'll give you two answers. Well, the poles are the negative of that, so it'll give you 4,000 plus j3,000 and 4,000 minus j3,000. The poles will be negative 4,000 plus j3,000, negative 4,000 minus j3,000. So, and, um, so that's what you have. So pole one is negative 4,000 plus j 3,000, and then plus negative 4,000 minus J3,000. 
3,000, and the units are radians per second. So there you have it, problem six.